Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I just got back from the first drive of the 2021 Ram Rebel TRX. Now, it's a pretty badass truck. I can't tell you anything more about. It's all next week. I'll put a link to that video when I can. It's all under embargo. I can't speak of it until the 23rd. But what I can tell you is about the engineering background. Yep, I recorded the entire engineering presentation. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I'm gonna show you the presentation. I'm gonna give you the best audio I could. Now, it's in a hangar. So the audio is going to echo a little bit. I'm going to clean up the best I can, guys, and I'm going to zoom in the best I can with the camera. I'm also going to kind of show you some close-ups of the frame, of the shocks, of the engine. And so, yeah, if you're really into the Ram TRX or you're really curious what they did to this truck, because it's not really a Ram Rebel with different graphics. It's a completely different truck. Sit back, pop a top, get some popcorn, relax, because it's going to be a long video, but it's going to be well worth it if you're into this kind of deep dive engineering stuff. And hey, if you are into this type of videos, hit subscribe, stick around. A lot of good stuff in the channel, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get to the video right now. Thank you, Ryan. Good morning, everyone. My uh, name is Jeff Vitelli. I'm the chief engineer for this piece. Um, it's pretty safe to say I love my job. Um, as everybody has told you this morning, we designed this vehicle to straight up outrun and outlast the competition. At the heart of a beast like this is a solid foundation. The frame of the Ram TRX is 74% new. So it started life as a Ram 1500 frame. We've upgaged through thicker materials. We've upyielded through higher tensile strength steels. When you look at the Roman chassis here, you'll see uh, black items, these are the carryover items. Everything in green is an example of that upgauge, not yielded. And the items in blue are all new for the TRX. I'd like to call out specifically items like this front shock tower. Massive, it is the thickest steel we could get in here and actually still stand. Uh, and when you get in close, you'll see numerous reinforcements, uh, really all along the frame, all about making this chassis uh, able to rip across the desert at 100 miles an hour. It's designed for the maximum punishment. Going from the frame, talking a little more about the suspension. Uh, the geometry of the Ram 1500 TRX is uh, the same geometry as we find on a regular Ram 1500. It is an independent front suspension and viable career. In the case of the TRX, we've got uh, its six inch wider track, so at the front of the vehicle, You'll see stronger forge control arms of aluminum, uh, three inches wider per side. Really all about maintaining that optimal suspension geometry through the 13 inches of front travel. At the rear of the vehicle, uh, you'll find lengthened steel control arms, a solid forge rear track bar again for that punishing duty cycle, and uh, really one of our engineering trophies, and it's kind of funny to hear engineers get all excited about spring. But that rear spring, uh, managing through this massive 14 inch rear travel, is a huge, we call it a beehive, but essentially the tire envelope. And it's packaged hard against the carryover box inner, right? It's important, this is a pickup truck, cargo is a, is a significant contributor. Um, so we had to package this very large travel and diameter coil within that. What you'll see on this TRX is the largest, tallest production coil spring in the world. We had to scour the earth to find a supplier who could actually make us something like this. And again, it's funny to you know, think of the spring as a trophy, but for all of us, it's like a source of pride that we managed to design and develop that. Uh, where the rubber, I'm sorry, so to control all of this suspension, we have the Hillstein Blackhawk E squared damper system. These are fully active. We have actuation of both the compression and the rebound side of the dampers. Very massive, robust units. They're actually capable. They can adjust anywhere from 22 pounds to one ton per quarter. So massive forces to help us deal with not only the loads of when you're driving, you know, at max attack through the mountains today, but also when you'll be jumping on the track if you so choose to, to go out on the track today. Uh, we control them through our proprietary right now active terrain dynamic system. Look at there's a ride height position sensor at each corner, and there's three accelerometers on the frame. We know exactly where the tire is in travel at all times, and we know exactly what the platform is doing, whether it's heaving, whether it's pitching, whether it's rolling. We can adjust the damper seconds, one milliseconds, to counteract that behavior. Um, as Ryan talked about, within the drive modes, we can choose different modes. 
We've got auto, which we believe to be the, you know, the, the all around best compromise for all the features. Uh, but we have sport. The sport mode will firm up the dampers. You'll feel that out on the road. Uh, then in Baja, we actually free them up. So we allow a lot of free travel at what I'll call the normal few inches of ride height. As you get to those extreme ends of travel, we firm them up to catch the vehicle on a very aggressive maneuvers. Uh, in auto mode, obviously, we, we do a more specific job of controlling again at that normal ride height that you find in the alpha. Uh, again, that suspension really works together to give an unmatched level of plushness and control. We built this truck to laugh off jumps that broke our competition. But that is a big deal for us, and it's going to be a big deal for you today. Uh, where the rubber meets the road, all new Goodyear Wrangler territory, all terrain, developed specifically for this truck to meet not only our needs in the snow and sand uh, while rock crawling at lower tire pressures, but also the segment busting, busting. 118 mile per hour top speed. There is no all terrain tire rated for this kind of speed. And you'll see that the truck can very quickly get to that speed as well. So, also very important for us. And I'll even give Mr. Gillum a shout out. This sidewall, he terrorized the poor guys from Goodyear to get this very aggressive yet functional sidewall. So, again, as you look at it throughout the day, I'll give Mr. Gillum some credit on that one since he gave us some credit for the engineering standpoint. All this fun is stopped by a 14.9 millimeter inverted front hat, uh, rotors with a twin piston monoblock caliper, and at the rear 14.1. Uh, biggest brakes in the segment, and also pretty much the biggest little can jam in the segment. They are an 18 by 9 inch wheel, as Mike talked about. On the red truck, you'll see our standard wheel, and on this, our B-lock jewel wheel. You would remove this ring, pull the bead out, and then through Mopar, there is the B-lock ring. Uh, it basically has twice as many fasteners to really put that tire on the vehicle. As with anything, right, I, I talked to which we had a solid foundation. Uh, we're very, very proud of this vehicle. Uh, but, but really at the heart, the true heart of the beast is the powertrain. So with that, I'll hand it over to Dan Stagger, and he will walk you through the powertrain for the vehicle. <coughs> Thank you, Jeff. Again, my name is Dan Stagna, I'm the Vehicle Integration Manager for this program. Um, all the other presenters got to tell you that uh, preview the heart of the beast, I get to introduce you to this beast. So this is the same 6.2 supercharged Hemi you'll find in other SRT products, um, but with the character and the mission of the TRX, we had to make some adjustments. So we moved the alternator above our water floating line of 32 inches, uh, 7.9 liter uh, deep sump oil pan with baffles and uh, you know the volume to uh, ensure performance on rough road, high lateral G's, and even a 60% downslope. So feeding this beast, we have to provide lots of cool, clean air. So this this cutaway deserves a little bit more attention. If you guys can come up and look at it later, uh, we have a two two. Uh, Air paths. We have a high pressure air path in the functional hood scoop and a high pressure air path through the through the grill through those uh, those ram letters that Mike talked about. So these two paths will come to the to the bottom of the box, the dirty side, and tumble the air, tumble the uh, the sand and grit, the dirt and dust out of out of the airflow, and then it goes through two giant eight by twelve uh, air filter elements. So we'll follow the, the torque down the uh, down the drive line. We've got a uh, heavy duty proven uh, 8HP 95 8 speed transmission from ZF with a 137k torque converter. The board runner uh, transfer case is much much the same as the light duty for Rebel T case, but we've upgraded the internals for the additional uh, torque horsepower. The TRX 62. It's got uh, additional clutch capacity, additional pinions in the gear train, bigger, uh, bigger chains, and everything. Just to just to be sure that we can split that torque front to rear um, when, the, when the train requires it. So <coughs> to the back here, we got a Dana rear axle, and this axle is really really special. It's the first light duty segment full floating hub 
equipped axle. All of the, the vertical loads from the tires, um, driving and punishing it off road, uh, go through the, the hub bearings rather than through the axle shafts to, to isolate those loads and make it super beefy. It's got uh, electronic locking differential, and that's an unlimited speed of, uh, locker, and it has a uh, <coughs> axle hop damper, or uh, we call it the axle damper, preventing power hop and uh, providing a smoother landing. So one of the things that I'm really proud of is the way this thing sounds. Now, you've had a taste of it, but you're going to see, you're going to get addicted to this thing. This, the distinctive sound of the all-business supercharger line balanced with the exhaust system note is, is really going to make, make you happy. So, more about the exhaust. Now, this is a high-flow uh, cast iron, you know, high nickel cast iron exhaust manifold, three-inch pipes from front to back. We've got uh, a performance tuned X pipe, two five-inch resonators. The, the tailpipes are what we call resonance-free tailpipes, and I encourage you to come up a little later, I'll show you some of the details about it. But they're made such that we don't have to have the added weight of an additional muffler or resonator for the tailpipe. And then, of course, the gorgeous five-inch uh, uh, tailpipe tips. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you about the, uh, the half shafts and the prop shaft for this thing. So the prop shaft, or sorry, let's start with the half shaft. The half shafts have uh, large CV joints at both ends, but the real technology is the, the center shaft itself has uh, ball splines allowing uh, travel, plunging travel in the, in the splines themselves to follow that 13 inches of the front suspension travel. Now the rear, the rear prop shaft has flanges at both ends uh, and a slip between center spline design. Now this, this allows for maximum durability. Speaking of durability, we, we monitor our, our off-road forms and really understood what the customers are doing out there in the field. Um, did customer surveys and all this stuff just to uh, develop our battery of tests for this truck. So we have our car train durability test, our, our uh, chassis durability test that we do for the, for the you know, Rebel and the rest of the 1500 miles. But we added thousands of miles of off-road, high-speed off-road desert durability testing um, at our proving grounds in, in, the, uh, at the, in our Arizona proving grounds. Additionally, we took a page out of the SRT playbook and put our best drivers, our SRT engineers and, and best drivers, dri drivers in the company, and tortured the truck through a thousand miles of deserts, high speed running. So this is our endurance test. This is pushing the truck as far as it can go. We didn't find the limits of the GRX, but we found the limits of our engineers. So now you know kind of what the TRX is. It's a very exciting vehicle. You're going to love driving it. You're going to get addicted to it. I'm going to want to give us the keys back. Um, so I'm going to reinforce uh, Ryan's discussion on drive modes. Now, on the way uh, on your drive today, you know, push the buttons. Hit the TRX button, select your drive mode, auto or sport. Um, you'll get a chance to experience the controllability of, of rock mode. Uh, this afternoon we've got a rock crawl that's you can love. Uh, and then my favorite course is Baja mode, where you'll uh, experience the high speed tuning and really the capability of this piece. Um, <laughs> and not to mention, we have a uh, eight mile uh, gravel drag strip set up so you can punch the truck, get the launch control experience, and just unleash the beast. There you go, there's my deep dive on the Ram Rebel, or their deep dive, I should say, on the Ram Rebel TRX, so you have all the information on Ram Rebel TRX if you're out there shopping for it. Check out this other video over here of cool stuff, of different engineering stuff I've done in years past. Like I said, a lot of good stuff on this channel about deep dive engineers, so I hope you subscribe, stick around. Uh, your subscription really does make this stuff happen. Also, website down below, and as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.